you are your habits. The habits that your day is comprised up of is going to determine your future. You can have the biggest goals and the biggest dreams, but if your habits do not match those goals or those dreams, you are never going to achieve them. Reading is an amazing habit that will prepare and train you for the future. If you do it consistently, you will speak better, you will think more critically, and you will make better decisions. The way you see the world and people will be changed. Because of reading, you will begin to understand new things that you never understood before. I remember I used to struggle really, really bad articulating my thoughts. Anytime I would go to say something, my mind would immediately go blank and I would have no idea what to say. I slowly began to fix that when I started reading consistently. Over time, it gave me the ability to articulate my thoughts and to speak clearly. So reading is not only going to help you understand the world around you, but it will help you in communicating with people and those around you. Working out is not only good for your physical state, but it is also very good for your mental state. We're not made to live a sedentary life, but a physically active life. I know I'm not the only one that notices this, but anytime that you sit around for a long period of time, you start to feel sluggish and just bleh. You begin to lose the desire of doing anything or even being productive. You just want to sit around more and do nothing. Eventually, this gets into your mentality and affects the rest of your life. So making a habit of working out will not only improve your physical state, but it will also improve your mental state. I promise you that your body and your mind will both benefit from it. Fasting or taking a break from social media may sound unnecessary, but it has so many benefits. Everyone is constantly consuming social media. And with the way that algorithms work now, it is so easy to catch yourself scrolling for hours on end and losing track of time. I already do my best to balance my time with social media, but I will intentionally fast from it consistently just so I can let my mind breathe. There is a freeing of the mind and the emotions when you fast from social media. It will definitely be hard at first and it will be a little uncomfortable, but over time you are going to get used to it. Now these three habits that I talked about in this video are just scratching the surface of everything that you need to know to change your life. But these three are a very good start. Anyways, that is it for this video. If you got any value, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,